just so you guys don't think we're kidding, it is, I don't know, let me look. It's 10.33 and I am still at the office. Why? I don't know, because I'm still here working, John's still here working, and I'm also sick. That's always fun. Hi, cousin. Um, so anyways, I did want to do a live real quick because I feel like I talk to people and tell them like, oh my God, we work such long hours. Oh my goodness. We're still at the office. People think I'm bullshitting. Hi, Tanya. But I'm not. I'm actually still at the office. Um, John's still at the office too. So um, just to show you guys, we're still at the office. Yay. So John was ever so kind enough to put these shirts on the floor for me because i said i wanted the new tank tops you know see see so he's got those on the floor for me and he's in the office on the phone talking to someone right now yep. see you know, like right there yeah so i'm gonna shut this door so he doesn't have to share his conversation with everybody on the planet um but yeah we're still here and uh, i wanted to make sure i did a live real quick so i can i'm sorry for like all the shaking because i suck at uh lives but Anyways, yeah, I'm sick. I'm running uh, like 103 fever and I have a sore throat and I guess it's like going around for everybody. But yeah, I'm still here because I don't have a choice. I'm on antibiotics. Don't worry. Okay. Taking some augmented. But um, yeah, it sucks still being here. And I haven't eaten any dinner. <laughs> we did order some food today for the office, but it magically disappeared with all my savages for children here at the office. I got a loaf of bread, so I could probably make a sandwich if I really wanted to, but I don't really feel like doing it. But I purposely did this video for the simple fact that I feel like when I tell people that we're still at the office, because I can't really like lie on a live, that we're really still at the office. And we really are still working. <sighs> I wish it would be different and that we weren't just, you know, we we're just having a good old time, you know, maybe you know, in a room somewhere, but that's not really what's happening. So anyways, guys, it's been a great day, minus the fact that I feel like total garbage. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been busy. Busy's good, but I think every once in a while, you got to take care of yourself, make sure that, you know, you get some sleep and stuff like that. So it's important that I get some rest so I can try to get over this cold that I got going on. What's up, Jason? How are you? Tunisia, I miss you. I got some new shirts for you though. So if you want to inbox me your new address or whatever address you got, I'll send you over some good stuff. Jason, send me over your um your address too so I can send out your girls some stuff. What up, Bubba? So anyways, we've been doing this for years, guys. This is not like new, you know? We, Me and John, we stay at the office like late, super late, you know? And our kids at home still, you know, he probably wants to hang out with us. It's his summer. These are things that, hey, Becky, these are things that you have to give up sometimes when you are a business owner, you know. Thank you, Phil. Um, it's just what you got to do, you know. I, I'll be honest with you. You know, when I was growing up, my mom and my dad, in fact, my mom worked a nine to five and my dad worked, honestly, my dad worked three jobs. Okay. I should tag my brother in this so he can verify this information. So anyways, my dad worked three jobs. And the reason why he worked three jobs is because we had to make ends meet. You know, we literally lived like paycheck to paycheck. So he had to work three jobs. You know, it's just what it was. So he was never home because he was always working. But I mean, they, I guess they put into my brain at the time because I didn't come from an entrepreneurial kind of family. They put into my brain like, hey, listen, go get a stable job, get an education, get a job from nine to five, nine to six, whatever it is, get your, you know, normal house, get your normal car, get your Nissan Cavalier, whatever Chevy, <laughs> you know, get your car, get it all straight and, you know, have your life and have your, your happy, you know, whatever it's going to be. And it's kind of like a, in a box type of thinking, I want to say, I want to share that with you because I feel like some other people should know about this. So you it's kind of a thinking in a box. Hi, Angela. Mwah. You're not late to the party. I just hopped on here like literally two seconds ago just to show people we're still at the office. And we got this thing in the back that Mr. Skeldon made for us. It says it was all a dream, but we're making the dreams come true, right? So anyways, parents worked, you know, like 
hell, you know, it's old school. You know, my mom worked and then she came home, made us dinner and da 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 da. So anyways, I was kind of stuck in that mindset of the box of like, okay, you're going to work this time to this time. You're going to go home and have this life. It's not like that for me, you know, and sometimes I feel like my mom can't relate. My dad's no longer around, unfortunately, you know, bless his soul. But I do feel like sometimes my mom can't relate to what I'm doing and what I'm saying. Like, you know, mom, I can't talk right now. I'm busy. Or, you know, <laughs> she'll text me something and I'm like, I'll talk to you later. I won't even answer her or I won't call her for like a week. And I think that some people just don't get it, you know. So I guess I was built into that type of mindset. And now I'm finally starting to see the mindset. Hi, Stacey. I miss you so bad. It make me so happy if you came down this weekend for team bonding. If I make a sad face, will you come? Like that? <laughs> Anyways, Stacey, I was just talking about like my mom working nine to five, my dad working 300 jobs and us trying to make ends meet and us still being at the office at 1040 at night. <clears throat> and I'm sick with a fever and on antibiotics just to catch you guys up and um, hopefully feel better for my birthday next week because I don't want to feel like shit on my birthday because that would suck. But anyways, um, you know, just owning a business isn't easy. So if it was easy, everybody would do it. That's what John always says anyway. But I mean, you got to sacrifice stuff. And you know, in my situation, I sacrifice a lot. I sacrifice time with Peter. I sacrifice time with my family. I have a new little baby that I need to go see, my nephew, you know, and I need to go see him. I'm sacrificing time with him. Um, sacrificing time with my husband. Even though we're together, we're not really together, if that makes any sense. Like, we're literally together all day, every day, literally, from beginning to end. The only time we're not together is if I decide not to go work out, which is the majority of the time, and he goes to the gym and comes back. But Or if we're driving in our two separate vehicles because... If he's on his phone, I, me and him fight. And that's the only time we ever fight. So anyways, I need a pizza. Girl, I so need a pizza. You have no idea. But my birthday's coming up and I'm going to be like 34 or maybe 33. 34, I think. Um, and uh, I got to look good because if I look like shit, I mean, that's going to suck. <laughs> so I don't want to feel like that on my birthday. So that's why I've been trying to like tighten up a little bit instead of having, you know, my multi-cocktail drinks at night. I've been just like, all right, you know what? Just at the bar, just give me a shot. We'll call it a day. Just give me a shot of Patron and I'll just, you know, take it down, be happy with that instead of sipping on something that's going to make me fat with a bunch of sugar in it. So anyways, being an entrepreneur is not easy, okay? And we do put in the work and we put in the hours and we're here and we do it. So if I ever, ever, I do want to say this on my live, if I ever do not respond to you, whether it's text message, hi, Michi, I'm still at the office, look. T, still here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working. Because <laughs> you didn't help me. No, I'm kidding. Um, hi, I'm on live. <laughs> so anyways, um, I am tired, I'm not going to lie. If, if I told you guys that I wasn't tired, I would definitely be lying to you guys i'm tired i'm running a fever i took some tylenol i'll be fine i'm a soldier i ride that shit out like that because i'm a soldier but anyways i don't want you to swing by you can bring me a pizza to my house how about that <laughs> anyways um michelle says hi because she's still awake when she should be in bed because she has to work tomorrow go to sleep Mitch. go to sleep Mitch, he says <laughs> She says she wore her ruby tank top and it looks fire. I know. I try to show them my new tank tops. Give me the ruby ones I can show them. Anyways, I was just simply stating on here like how my mom worked the 9 to 5, blah, blah, blah. I lived in a box until I met John. Not literally. Well, kind of. But not literally. So that's the ruby tank top. Yep, yep. That's pretty dope. Fire! Literally. So anyways, yeah, I kind of sort of lived in a box before I met John. You know, I listen, I did pretty damn good for myself prior to I met John. I mean, literally, I worked two jobs and went to school. I mean, that's what I did. But you have to remember in that little time frame of me working two jobs and going to school, I didn't cook and clean because, you know, I'm not domesticated like that. I had McDonald's, Burger King, more McDonald's and Burger King, pizza. It was like, that was the bomb. That was the way to do it. So anyways... You can't live in the box all the time. 
but do not be super unrealistic about what you're doing with your life because some things are a little unrealistic. So don't be unrealistic. Focus in on what you want to do. Even if you guys have a nine to five job, honest to God, you can get your promotion. You know, you just got to work for it. I just, I feel like I need to tell you guys that because a lot of you guys out there are lazy, super, super lazy. And a lot of you guys out there think that things are handed to you and it's not. Nothing is owed to you in life. I do tell my son this every day. So please understand, nothing is owed to you. Please work your ass off to get what you want because it'll come, especially if you work your ass off to get it. I promise it will come. What up, CJ? He said, what up? What up, CJ? He be rocking all the Titan shit all the time. Rockin', all the time, all the rockin', time. Rocking. Say hi to Tanisha. Tanisha, what's up, girl? Hi. Look, John is still wide awake at 1040 at I'm night. I'm ready to go. You're at the office. I need to go work out today. It's two days in a row. Thanks a lot. <sighs> what the hell do you want me to do? I mean, what the hell? We're still here working at 1040. I told him I was like, I was really excited to hopefully like be having some fun in exam room three. But that is not what's going down right now. Okay? It's not. Wish. This is work. Okay? This is work. Like I said, we're together all day, but we're not together all day. We're like, we're physically together, but not like, hee hee ha ha ha, hee 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 ha, all day. You know? So, um, yeah, Tanisha said get a pizza and go home. Angela said, what's up? What up, Angela? Man, I like that Casey post today. I yeah, Casey did it. do a good post today. I liked that. that was good. So dude. please share this with him because we think he did really good. That was really good. We got to send you out some new gear. We got all those new colors. Let me, wait, wait. I got me, Casey's new stuff. Let me rewind too. this. Hold on. All right, hold on. Rewind. Angela, your post today was awesome. <laughs> was it her post? You know damn well she posts all his stuff. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's so, good. Well, no. I'm just telling you like that's, that's more than likely what it was. I know. You, I, I'm totally giving you credit because I already know that, you know, the women do the majority of everything. Uh... Um, Not really, but... Yes, really. So anyways, uh, I need you laughing because I know you know it's true. <laughs> so I, I'm just going to grab my stuff and leave here just um, momentarily. But I did. I was trying to show them that we're still here, like for real. That's what we do, guys. Like, so I'm not kidding. You know, I'm still at the office. You were joking. Are you like, ha ha, just kidding. Yeah. Look, see, savages. They eat all the food. You know what they do here? I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to tell you. Okay. So these guys here, they put a recycling bin. They force you to have a recycling bin in your office. But they don't recycle. <laughs> they use it as a trash can. So I don't care what you put in there. Like I could literally put anything in there. It's not being recycled. It's almost like maybe they get a discount on the building or something. I'm sure they're going to hate me for seeing this video if they actually do see it but they don't really recycle. It's a trash can. See? Trash. Yeah, we didn't do that, okay? So anyways, I am probably gonna pour myself some OJ, grab a water. Ugh. By the way, Acapana is the best. Don't let John tell you that Avion yeah. is. See, I knew he was gonna say that. You see, I know him too well, you know? Those of you that ask me anything, you know, what's John gonna say? What's John gonna do? I'll tell you. I can assure you, I'll probably say the same answer at the same time he will. It's kind of weird and creepy at the same time, but super cool. Oh, is that all my shirts? Thanks. I have a whole new wardrobe now. We got boxes and boxes of these new cool, 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 like, razor bag. They're kind of like see-through shirts, so they're nice. They're really, they're really good for the summer as well. Angela, inbox me on Facebook so I can send you some stuff. It'll be like my reminder. Yeah! Send it to me. I'm Like I said, guys, please do not get offended if I do not text you back right away or if I do not write you back in Facebook right away because I have like 500 platforms I use. So writing me on Facebook is not necessarily the best form of communication, especially if you need something from the office, just letting you know, Jackie, you're still around. I miss you. <sighs> Jackie, I was just saying that we're still here at the office. I'm just saying, still here, right now, this very second. I wanted to make sure I showed you guys because I feel like sometimes you guys think we're pulling smoke up your ass, but we're really not. We're really still here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean, Josie.
Who knows what I mean? So anyways, I'm going to head out because I really need some sleep and hopefully I can feel a little bit better. And uh, yeah, it's been quite a day today, you know? See, look, see, I'm still here, my laptop, everything, you know? Not bullshitting. So anyways, I hope everybody has a Pellegrino. Ew. Eh. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good night and wish me some uh, great sleep tonight. I love you too, Tunisia, Angela. Sending you lots of love. Give Casey my love. Continue taking awesome posts of Casey and posting it for him. That is what us good wives do. Um, and then inbox me to remind me to send you some stuff. Tunisia, remind me to send you some stuff. So inbox me on my Facebook and I can remember to do it. Anyways, guys, I'm glad you guys tuned in for, uh, my little, I'm not even gonna call this a soapbox. It's gonna be called like a for real, for real, like this really took place box. Um, just so everybody knows that we aren't, you know, kidding around when we say we're still here at Titan Medical Center at quarter to 11. Now, remember, let's not forget, we still have a 40-minute drive home. Hmm. Then when we get home, I still got to eat dinner. So by the time all that happens, it's probably around like midnight, 1230. Hey, what? I'm ready to go. Come on. Dogs ready to go. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Hope you guys have a great night. Talk to you soon. See ya.